gravity. Gravity is the attraction between any two masses, which is a force determined by the product of their masses, and then inversely proportional to the distance between them. Um, could, could you say that again, but in English this time? That was in English. Okay, how about slower and with smaller words? Oh, okay. Gravity is a force which pulls things toward each other. If those things are big, the pull is strong. The bigger the things, the stronger the pull. For example? Well, the moon and the earth are both pretty big, and they pull on each other with a lot of force. Well, then why don't we feel the moon's gravity pulling on us? Because it's so far away. The moon is about 240,000 miles away. The earth is much closer, so we can feel its pull on us. Let's demonstrate. Okay, for this demonstration, I have some ceramic donuts and a dowel rod marked every centimeter to guide their fall. The gravity at the surface of the earth causes a constant acceleration of 10 meters per second squared, or 10 meters per second per second. That sounds fast. Actually, it's increasingly fast. An acceleration is not a speed, it's an increase in speed. For every second an object falls, it's going 10 meters per second faster than it was the previous second, and it's independent of the mass of the object. Any object will fall with an acceleration... That is weird. The what? Hold on, let me try dropping another one on top of it. How are they doing that? Oh no, this is bad! This is very bad! <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I always thought gravity was mandatory, but look what I can do! It is mandatory! <laughs> it's the law! You've broken the law of gravity! Is that... bad? Attention! Sock person science! This is the physics police. Come out with your hands up! We're doomed! You'll never take me alive, copper! Come on! We're doomed! Okay, so, after what the newspapers insist on calling the trial of the century, turns out we were innocent of those charges after all. Well, of the, the original charges, the um, vandalism, hijacking, and impersonating the vice president of Norway were more or less legitimate charges, though I still maintain primarily accidental. I mean, I never even said I was the vice president of Norway. Those people just assumed. Uh, get on with it. Right. Sorry. Um, anyway, as part of our community service, we are now going to explain to you what happened on that fateful day at the beginning of this video. It seems that when I sent my lab assistant to purchase ceramic donuts, he purchased some that were magnetic. Magnets are polarized pieces of metal, primarily iron, that are aligned at a molecular level so as to have a directional flow of charge. It's like you don't want the kids to know what you're talking about. What I mean is, they have a North Pole and a South Pole, like our planet does. Any part of the magnet will stick to a piece of iron, like the door of your refrigerator. But the poles react differently to each other than to themselves. I've painted these so you can see the difference between the sides. The white side is the North Pole, and the black side is the South Pole. So if you take a North Pole and put a South Pole over it, opposites will attract. But if I take a North Pole, and put another North Pole on it, North Pole will push another North Pole away. Boing. Boing. That, apparently, is what happened during our gravity demo. He dropped like sides together. As you can see, we didn't break the law of gravity. We just put like sides together. The magnetic force pushing them apart kept them from falling. So it looked like anti-gravity, but it was actually just a force in the opposite direction. It's no more anti-gravity than when you use your legs to counter gravity by jumping. Attention, soft person science! This is the physics police! What did you do now? It wasn't me! Hey, hey, come on! We gotta get out of here! I'll explain on the way! You are under arrest! Come out with your hands in the air! You'll never take me alive, copper! Come on! Okay. It was me, apparently. Gravity! It isn't just a good idea, it's the law. So obey it. And the laws of space-time. For the goodness of science! Open fire! Let's go!
which one of you is from now, and which one is from next week. Yeah, great. So, you guys know any good jokes? Oh, he does. Tell me electric car joke. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so a priest, a rabbi, and Liberace are in an electric oh, car. Oh, I've heard this one. Yeah, of course you've heard it. You told it last week. <laughs> and, and the priest says, I know. I know. That's what killed kill Michael, Michael Faraday. Faraday. <laughs> 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 oh, it's classic. <sighs> but yeah, I've heard it.